An unprecedented investigation. The inspector general hired to scrutinize L.A. County jails and the sheriff's department now sets its sights on probation and a spike in violence and pepper spray use at juvenile halls and camps. That increase first reported by the I-team after a nine-month investigation. Lolita Lopez is here now to explain. Yeah, we went to the supervisor who called for this investigation with our findings back in September. A massive spike in pepper spray use in juvenile halls and camps. The deep dive into the probation department will look into incidents, including a time where one person was allegedly not allowed to decontaminate after being sprayed. Gets in the throne, it just feels like it's closing up. The I team first discovering the major spike in pepper spray use in LA County juvenile halls and camps last week, a 154% jump from 2015 to 2017. We talked to two young men who say they were sprayed while in juvie, one at least 10 times. Kent Mendoza spoke to supervisors today. Doesn't only burn, but it's as dehumanizing and solitary confinement is to juveniles in the juvenile justice system. The probation department tells us training focused on prevention and early intervention and a new use of force policy are in the works now. The department welcomes any and all outside um, uh, reviews. And today, probation assistant chief Sheila Mitchell pointed to a decline this year in pepper spray use. But supervisor Janice Hahn clarifies. In 2018, we saw a 20% decrease. From the, in the number from the time it tripled. Yes, that's so correct. That's a little misleading. The county's probation department has been under scrutiny before. Under several years of federal monitoring, pepper spray use decreased. The I team found the increase in pepper spray use followed the end to federal oversight of what was happening behind juvie walls. You should have oversight to the to the minutes because it's children that you're dealing with. This ex-probation officer echoes the sentiments of the union representing probation officers. They say training is needed to deal with fights and aggressive behavior. Overall violence is also on the rise at juvenile halls and camps, according to the county. If the staff is not safe, nobody in there is safe. Yeah, and at that meeting, we heard for the first time that officers who are abusing their pepper spray use more than others are actually getting training first. But part of what is troubling is that we really don't know how and when officers are deploying pepper spray and what happens when someone steps over the line. We're working on getting that information. The inspector general guys will report back to the supervisors early next year. They have 45 days to do this review and then come back to the supervisors with what they found. It'll be interesting to see what they found. Exactly. Thanks, Lloyd. I appreciate that.